Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you this type of rough photos and I'll make this one into the professional editing. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. So at first going to this layer that is the background layer, press Ctrl or Command J for the backup layer and this one will be edit. First we'll do the skin retouch or now the skin spot removal uh, here is some spots you just uh, got that and uh, going to the spot healing brush tool and making this one into content you are making it normal uh, it's make this one 20 to 30 pixel that is good and just click once so when you are clicking this one uh, the spot will gone just because of it will take the pixels from non affected area and it will fill up to the affected area and it will be gone that means the spot will gone most of the prominent uh, like a spot we removed uh, before and after uh, after that making another copy by pressing ctrl j and j so one of the layer will be blur and another will be sharp okay turning off the sharp this blur so going to the filter and going to the blur and going to the gaussian blur so gaussian blur value should be proper way otherwise uh, the photo might be spoiled so two or three that's good yeah that's fine and hit okay and these sharp options going to the hard light options or you can overlay this one whichever do you like but i'll suggest you to make this one into hard light and after that going to the filter and going to the uh, like others and then high pass so high pass value should be proper okay that's fine and hit okay and after that making this one into group and making this one into mask and press ctrl or command i for the reverse mask and now you have to make this one white when this one is uh, black so in this case you have to make the opposite down just because of we don't want to make full blur we just make this little bit smooth okay the partial area should be smooth that's good let's see the before and after so selecting these two layers and making the to convert to a smart object and after that going to the filter and going to the neural filter from this portion we'll do another skin smoothing and we'll uh, giving the texture over there so here is a smooth skin and turn it and here is a smooth option and here is the blur option if you don't make this one too much blur you should be like a less blur and be like that okay when you are done hit okay so let's see the before and after now going to the filter and going to the camera filter so this one is a vital point just because of will um, make the skin tone properly here is a, a like eyedropper and you can pick the hair color or eye color going to the color mixture the lips color saturation would be a little bit up and hue would be like that so this one is a natural way luminance a little bit up or down if you want so the orange color a little bit down and yellow a little bit up aqua blue and here the yellow okay now green hue will change just because of we want to make the green proper like this or you can make this one like that whichever do you like it's totally up to you i'm just showing you the way how to do that and green color should be like that okay now going to the calibration options here is the primary three colors uh, red primary would be like that so i want to make this one um, plus nine is a good value and a green primary i want to make this one this type of value and here the hue of the blue like that so be careful when you are using that just because of the color is important for that so let's see the before one and after one natural tones and then hit ok button so let's see the before and after use change and now we'll do the dodge and burn process that is the important thing for this photo just because of this photo is like flat we want to make the dimension in the photo press ctrl j and j so right press and restylize the layer and this one as well restylize the layer so first one would be the highlight for the age and 
shadow for the ace okay turning off the shadow at first the highlight making this one into screen mode right press and going to the blending options from here here is the underlining layer find out the light area press the alter option button to divide this slider and make this one blend with the face properly so when you are making this again that's fine and hit okay now making it mask and going to the image option and apply image from here okay and hit okay now for the shadow portion you know shadow is the opposite of the highlight that's why we will make it multiply screen for the light and uh, multiply for the shadow and now going to the blending options by pressing right place and now we'll work with this find out the shadow properly press the alter option button to divide this slider and making this one blend properly and hit okay and after that mask this one and going to the image and apply image in this case we'll make it invert just because of uh, shadow is the opposite of the highlight that's why this is inverted and now making it group and now giving the name okay that's fine the group name will be like that and mask this layer and now again going to the image and finally going to the apply image turn off the invert option just because of we are applying the full things into that and let's see the before one flat image and this one you're getting the dimension over here selecting these two things making it group and now final and after making that going to the convert to smart object just because of we want to apply another tone over there now going to the filter and going to the like nick collection and color effects pro 4 so this color effects pro 4 is another plugins for the photoshop and uh, i'll provide you the link over there so from here here is lots of filters which one do you like uh, you can apply i'm using here the cross processing lots of method over here which one is preferred for you and which one you do like you can use that so i would like to use this one the l02 here is the strength options if you want you can make this one up or down it's totally up to you and here is the opacity you can control over there shadow and highlight you can adjust if you want this one the shadow and this one is the highlight you can adjust but my settings here is 34 or um, 38 and everything is 100 percent and like that and hit okay it will uh, take a little bit time and load it up and let's see the before one was like that and after one you're getting like this so now going to the filter again and going to the camera filter so from here going to the basic options from here dehaze option will make this one little bit dehaze and then i'll add some contrast over there for the prominent way actually so prominent is good and here i'll add some texture so this texture will give you the natural feel in the uh, face um, we already remove all the stops but uh, this one will be uh, the natural feel to you and hit okay so let's see the before and after this one is the raw uh, feels but this one you are getting the professional feels but in a natural way so that's why you are getting the natural feel over there and let's see the before and after hope that this one is good and here going to the here the color lookup options you can uh, use another filters from here going to the color lookup and here fuji film fuji film this effect or here this one so fall color lookup and making the opacity 50 percent so these color lookup made your photo more amazing just because of it's going uh, like fall type color so let's see the before one raw type image and after one you're getting the fall type color over there so this one is the way to make your photograph more professional uh, in a natural way actually hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video a7 is signing out stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye